welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer of Custom Chic and if this is your first time here, let me be the first to welcome you. My channel focuses on fashion, travel, and overall lifestyle and if that is the kind of content that you are into, then I would encourage you, subscribe, share, like, and definitely hit that bell notification so you know each time I upload. I upload videos every Wednesday and every Friday and if you also don't follow me already, I'm on Instagram. My handle is customs underscore chic. Again, customs underscore chic. Today's video is all about another shopping haul. As some of you know, I've been in Houston for the last couple of weeks for, on a work assignment, and now I'm back home in the studio, but I wanted to share some of the stuff that I got. Last week's video was all about my $153 haul at BCBG Boutique inside of Dillard's. If any of you were able to get to your local Dillard's or shopped it online, please, please, please let me know down in the comment box. I would love to hear what you guys got. This time around, I didn't go to Dillard's. I didn't get 80% off, but I went to Tootsie's. Okay, Tootsie's is a luxury department store down in Houston. It is not the other establishment down in the 305 Miami, Florida area where some of you might have been thinking, this is an actual store. <laughs> Tootsie's was having a 70% off sale, but it wasn't as, what should I say? It was very eventful, but I didn't get as lucky. I got maybe seven items, but they were not $153, unfortunately. Nevertheless, always the more, they were still good things. So, I mean, I'm a good friend, so I'm definitely gonna show you guys what I got. Before we get into all of that, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit, and then we can get into the goods. I am wearing this midi floral frock. It is from the brand Spy Zone Exchange. The print is called Tropical Jungle Animal. I got it in a size medium. My mom actually got it for me out of Ross for $19.99 and I'm loving all the flow. Now that we got what I'm wearing out of the way, I wanted to share my very first item, which is this super cute wooden clutch. This is by the brand Inge Christopher. I'm not familiar with them. I didn't know who they were beforehand, but let me tell you. I love this little thing, right? So it's just this wooden clutch. It does have a strap. It's this metal little string right here. And it's um, it's actually pretty long. I think you can wear it as a crossbody. You definitely can wear it as a crossbody. Let me stand up so that you guys can see. And it falls just right at my hip. So it is long enough. If you are shorter and that is not gonna work for you, you certainly do not have to wear the strap. It does come off. It is removable and I can just remove it right there and it clasps on very easily. Nice little wooden material inside. There's no pocket. It's just a very, actually that's not true. There's just one pocket on the inside, maybe for like a debit card and your ID, just in case you're going to dinner, you need something very quick. There's a nice little lining on the inside. I want to say it's like a silk or silk inspired material. It's not necessarily silk. And then just this top clasp. Oopsie. That chain is actually kind of heavy. Every time I move it, it kind of wants to like go down. But okay, so it just clasped open and shut. Very simple, very easy. I want to say that it was $149 before the 70% off. I don't know what that math is. I don't have the receipt in front of me, unfortunately. But it was a very good buy and I'm really happy with it because I don't have any wooden clutches. Any, I have wood inspired clutches, but they're more so like those bamboo bags that we've been seeing around all over the place, but I don't have anything this kind of like classical that can transition from day to night. So really happy with this purchase. Next up, I purchased another little clutch and this little velvet number is so delicious. I mean, look at this double clasp thing right here. Oop. Um, it comes in and it has like this nice little blue velvet on the inside, crushed velvet if you ask me. Um, also has a, <laughs> also has a string. I kind of knotted it here because um, I did already wear this to a wedding and I'll show you guys a picture of that if you haven't already seen it. Listen, if you follow me on Instagram, you get all the goods and you get them fast. You get them fast and you get them first. So, customs underscore chic if you're not following me because listen, that is where the latest and the greatest comes to you first but back to this this is by the brand called Caillou I've never heard of this brand again again I was not familiar with Tootsie's um, my girlfriend took me there and was like this is a great store I love it they have everything that you need prior to going um, she just said that they had a sale and I was just like okay I'm always down for a good sale let's go and I walked into that thing honey I was instantly amused <laughs> because it was just like this big open space and all I saw was 70% off 70% off 70% off so I was like 
this is gonna be my new playground. So I went there twice actually, um, just because the sale was so good. So back to this velvet little um, number. I love this color. This is, it feels really good on the skin. It doesn't, I wore it and it didn't like attach to anything because sometimes your materials kind of pull against the different materials that you have on. Not the case for this. Again, like I said, this has this brassy kind of muted metallic gold strap. I don't think the muted gold, oh, there it goes. The muted gold is coming through right now in the camera. And the strap is long, so I did kind of tie it here. You don't have to do that. This strap is also removable, so if you didn't want to wear it with that, you didn't necessarily have to. I'm not married to it either way. Like, I don't need to wear it without the class. I'm sorry, without the strap or with the strap. If I just didn't want to, instead of avoiding removing the strap and probably losing it, I can just tuck it in there and boom. You can't even see that it is a bag that needs a strap. This, I do not remember how much it was. I want to say I ended up paying $70 for it from the sale price, so it wasn't as cost effective, but yet it's still beautiful. It did come in its nice little Caillou dust bag. Again, I'm not familiar with this brand, but I'm definitely gonna try to find it for you guys and put everything down in the description box. Next up for all my girls who have lived or currently live in inclement weather areas, I picked up, and I think you guys would appreciate these, a pair of Wolford Jungle Print tights. How cute are these? Um, these, this is a size medium, and from what I understand, Wolford kind of runs small. I initially saw a size small, and my girlfriend was like, don't play yourself. <laughs> like, you're not going to be able to fit into those. And typically, I'm like a size 6 and an 8, so medium would be fitting, but I thought if it's a pair of tights, I can go down because obviously there's tons of stretch. Not the case for these, so I ended up getting these in a medium. I love these. They definitely, I mean, look how vibrant and beautiful these colors are. I love that OPEC black background and then just a splash of just like color. I mean, there's a tiger on there. There's like this vining and these beautiful trees, these gold and this cranberry and this kind of like sage green. Love, 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 love this. So my idea to wear these, and I picked these up because, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but the Marine Sir tights is kind of like Tracy Ellis Ross wore it, Beyonce wore it, plenty of influencers have been wearing these on their Instagrams and it's just a tight and a shirt, so it's two separates, but when you pair them together they look like just one bodysuit. It's not, they are two separates, but they retail for like $300 just for the bottom. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how much money I ever have to make to be able or to be comfortable with paying $300 for a pair of tights. Like, I mean, no shade. Maybe just no money in my bank account, but you know, that that's just not, that math is just not mathing for me. Anyway, these were very reminiscent of that brand to me, so I figured, hey, this is kind of like a dupe, but I mean, Wolford is not to be messed with either. Like, like a very popular hosiery brand, so we're good here. Anyway, I envision wearing these with a super cute, like, skater dress. I'm wearing these in fall and probably a pair of combat boots or a dupe of those Prada monolith boots that I showed you guys on my Instagram. I did pick up a pair and they have arrived from Public Desire so I will pop up a video of what those boots look like there. And if you want to see the style, again, follow me on Instagram. It, the first, the latest and the greatest. First. Did I say these were $99, 70% off of that? I'm not sure if I did but repetition or repetition is always good. Now we're actually getting into clothing pieces and I have been eyeing this baby blue Jacquemus fringe skirt. I'm gonna pop up a picture so that you guys can see it, but that skirt was retailing for like 900 something dollars and then it went on sale for like $648 and most recently ShopTagger, it's an app that you can you can download and share pictures on ShopTagger and it will follow that item from like sale to markdown to sold out sizing um, changes so it's a really good app but I've, I put the skirt on my shop tagger and right now it is currently retailing at like 400 some odd dollars that's still a no for me so I took these lo and behold I'm you know I'm shopping I'm perusing and I come across this dress oh my gosh you guys can't even this is not even doing it any justice oh maybe from back here it looks like nothing it looks like sackcloth while I'm holding it up but trust me this skirt is everything it is a linen skirt and it is by the brand Just B, B-E-E -E Queen. Duh, let, let, let me put my crown on, right? This skirt is so comfortable. It is very minimal, but there's like this ruching detail here, and then that fringe 
that I was looking for in that Jack Moose skirt, so I love it. I'm gonna show you guys how I paired it. You can probably wear this with a crop top, bralette. You know, I've been into bralettes lately, so might do that. Um, but it has a zipper. Actually, it has a tie clasp. Let me move this up so you guys can see. Please pardon my nails, I do have an appointment <laughs> tomorrow. Um, okay, so it has a button clasp here and then a zipper. The zipper is exposed, so I would be careful styling this. I probably, I typically do mix my, my metallics when I wear jewelry, but just be careful with this because you don't want it to clash and everything shows up when you're wearing white, so um, definitely be careful. I purchased this in a size medium. This was $295 and it was 70% off. So that came out to about 80 to 90 dollars i know it sounds expensive but for the quality of the dress the dress is very thick it has double lining on the inside and like i said this is a linen material is it linen actually no that's not true it's 100 percent cotton and it was made here in the good old us of a so um very toga-esque this reminds me of like a roman toga party so i'm really excited to wear this Supposed to be going to Fort Lauderdale this week. Actually, I am going to Fort Lauderdale this week and I'll be vlogging so you guys can see it. But if you go on Instagram, you'll probably get a little snippet. Next up in another clothing category, if you guys know me, you know I live for a good high-waisted wide leg pant. And I found these silk crepe pleated beauties. Oh, they feel so good. Like, I, I shouldn't even get this excited about clothes, but I'm really excited about these pants. They're from the brand Gabriella Hurst, made in Italy. I have never heard of this brand before, but I'm, I mean, I'm a believer now. I, I really am. It has a clasp in the front. Here I was trying to clasp it before it was giving me a little technical difficulties. I kind of tried to play that off, but y'all saw it. Um, and then it has a drawstring here in the middle. Like I said, it looks like, it doesn't look like, it is very much pleated and it's this like beautiful burnt orange. Oh. It's just gorgeous. And then it does have pockets here on the sides and then faux pockets in the back. I'm gonna try this on again so you guys can see. It doesn't look like much in my hand, but trust me, these pants are gorgeous. And they feel really, really good too. Um, there's lining on the inside, so it's like a silk lining on the inside. And then it's also silk on the background, on the background, on the outside. But because they pleated it and gave it this like faux crinkled feel, it's just, these pants are delicious. Um, I bought these in a size eight. They're called the Spice. Oh, that makes sense. It's kind of like a cinnamon-ish color. Um, but I love these. These were, <laughs> I'm, I'm almost ashamed to tell y'all how much these were. So they originally retailed for $13.50 and then they went on sale for six something. And I'm, I'm just gonna leave it there. Last item that I purchased from Tootsie's, and I have one more thing that I didn't purchase from Tootsie's. I got it actually at Neiman Marcus inside the Galleria, because you know I had to go to the Galleria, right? I just, I just had to. Is this beautiful floral maxi dress. When I say this dress is a stunner, <laughs> mm. let's talk about it, let's talk about it. Okay, so this is from the brand Pat Bow. I actually purchased this in a size six. I'm sorry, I purchased this in a size four. A six would have been perfect, but my girlfriend that was there with me convinced me that I can still do this. So when I tried this on and it doesn't fit me, don't say anything, because I'm still gonna wear it. Still gonna wear it. I'm still gonna figure it out. I can take it to my tailor, she can take it out a little bit, but this dress is stunning. It is long sleeve, actually no, it's three quarter length sleeve, and it has some button detailing right here. I initially fell in love just with the print. I am a super huge maxi fan maxi dress fan because it's a one-stop shop you can literally put it on and your entire outfit is made you don't have to worry about the top you don't have to worry about the bottom you don't have to worry about comfort you don't have to worry about classiness um you know comfort it it's literally everything you need in one and sometimes they are expensive and sometimes they're not you can really find them in every single price range so <clears throat> maxi dresses i love you this maxi dress, I especially love. I'm gonna move this up so that you guys can see. So there's this button detailing coming all the way down on the bodice, and it has a V-neck sort of, um, it lays on my body like a V-neck, and because I have broad shoulders, I'm a huge fan of V-necks because it kind of 
conceals that portion of my body v-necks are always are also rather super helpful if you're bigger busted because it just conceals and it doesn't you know amp up the boobs the back also has the same v-neck sort of structure it comes up mid back so it doesn't come all the way up i was a little concerned about it because sometimes you get that kind of like weird double back <laughs> when things are too tight but this one was just fine i so the buttons i'm sorry i i just can't stop talking about the shirt so the buttons come down really far down and again you can't really see this as i'm holding it up i'm just kind of talking in a vacuum but when i try it on you will be able to see there is a long slit in the front so as soon as the buttons end right here, the dress kind of just billows out. It is beautiful, it is very long. And like I said, this is from a brand, Pat Bow. It was made in Brazil. And that doesn't surprise me. Um, this is very reminiscent of a style and sort of print that you would see from the brand Farm Rio, which is based out of Rio de Janeiro, out of Brazil. Um, I went to Brazil, I don't know, maybe six or seven years ago. And I remember going into this sort of indoor mall, but it had a very flea market feel to it because the stores weren't really separated by nothing much but like a less than a wall. It wasn't even really, really a wall. It was like a Chinese wall. And in that um, department store or in that indoor mall, there was nothing but maxi dresses. And I always remember falling in love with Brazil because I bought some of my favorite maxi dresses that I still own to this day from Brazil in that store. So kudos to the brazilians and the maxi dresses and this beautiful like toucan sam yes actually it is a toucan on here hmm. toucan sam print so i am now going to show you guys a pair of shoes that i bought and then that's all i got actually this is all that i got from tootsies but now let's go to my purchase from neiman okay y'all ready here they are Entire quarantine, I have been doing nothing but buying shoes. And I don't know why I gravitated towards shoes because we weren't even really allowed to go anywhere. For like the first couple months, sis couldn't move. Like, I, I, I couldn't go anywhere. But I just kept buying shoes and buying shoes and buying shoes. So we're done at Tootsie's a whole different day. Actually, this is the same day. We go to Neiman's and they are having their pre, um, their pre Labor Day sale. And I go to the Louboutin section. I'm not looking for anything. I just spent the bag at Tootsie's and I'm like, I'm done, I'm hungry, let's just get some food. And then I come across, oh, let me let me move up, because as I'm looking at the camera, this kind of looks like orange, but this is like a bubblegum pink color. Let me see, can I move this up? Oh Lord, it's just not giving it. But I mean, look at this design. I think this is called a daffodil design and they are delicious. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I paired these with my Hanifa Congo River dress for the wedding that I went to in Houston a couple weeks ago. And I mean, the juxtaposition of the like the blues, the whites and the greens on that dress and this pop of pink, she did that. Actually, look, I'm gonna pop up a picture so that you guys can see. Wasn't that delicious? They are so comfortable. I actually wore these, we got to the wedding, the wedding started at five, we got to the venue at literally like 4.55, and I did not take these off until like 10.30, 11-ish. Now, if you are a Louboutin owner, or if you are a fan of the Louboutin, or not a fan of the Louboutin because of the um, fit and the comfort, you know that that means I wore these for an entire work shift. It was like four and a half hours. So that is really, really good, almost five hours. I didn't take them off until it was like almost ready to go and things were like really starting to settle down. So A plus for these. I purchased them because they were $347. You want me to say it again? $347 for some Louboutins. Yes, three, four, seven. Tres, cuatro, siete. Trois, quatre, sept. I don't think I've ever paid, and they were brand new. I, obviously, they were brand new. I got them out of Neiman's. But even on the resale market, I do not think that Louboutins go for that price, and especially not this like pop of color. I don't, I haven't seen this color. I've definitely seen this daffodil like style, but I've never seen this color. I saw them in a white. I've been looking for white Louboutins. I know I have a pair of white Steve Maddens that are high, about four inches, that will do just as well, but. 
I prefer this just because I'm a Louboutin girl. Like you, you can't unconvince me or you can't convince me to stop liking them, right? Even though some people say that they're not comfortable, these are really dinner shoes. But the fact that I was able to wear these for five hours let me know that something is going right over there. <laughs> or I could just stick with the daffodil style and I'll be a-okay. But I'm so, oh my gosh, this, so the color that I see and the color that you guys see is really not the same. But if you want to check out the color, what they really should be, I did post them on my Instagram, customs underscore chic. I know I've said it a couple times, and guess what? It's a shameless plug. I'm going to keep plugging myself, okay? So, that's that. Um, but yes, so $347, I was really happy. Again, they were comfortable for the type of shoe and for the type of event that I was at. Because, you know, you get there, you start celebrating, and then you start dancing the night away. Even after things sort of calmed down for a little while, I still had these on. I did not take them off towards the end of the night. I love the color. These can transition with anything. I think I can wear them with color like I showed in the picture. Or even if I wanted to wear like a monochromatic look, wear with all white, wear with all black, these babies are going to do really well. They actually kind of look like matted um, in the video, which they are matted but they have a really strong pop of color. So maybe if I put them this way, maybe you guys can see them better. Eh. It, it looks similar to my lipstick, but it's not. So I still think that you guys are not getting the right color. So if you want to put something in the um, comment box and let me know if you really want to see what the color is. I have posted them on my Instagram, like I said, but love these beauties, 347. Definitely am not upset about that purchase. Wow. Okay, that was exposure. So. That is all that I have. If you stuck around this long, you already know what to do. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you click that bell notification so you know each time that I drop a video. Again, every Wednesday and every Friday. I will see you guys next time. I love y'all. Bye Zoe, bye Joshua, bye Asani. Bye-bye.